Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part four in determining whether or not numbers are prime numbers by writing a C++ program. So in this function that we're continuing to write here, um, basically we're, we're writing this function that's going to list all the prime numbers from some starting number to some stopping number. And in the last video we just put some error checking code in here. And so if neither one of these two cases uh, are present, we're just going to go ahead and process the request and uh, we're going to determine whether or not the numbers from the starting number to the stopping number, we're going to determine which one of those numbers are prime. And we're going to print all of the numbers that are prime out of that group to the screen. So what we're going to do first, I guess we probably should create a new variable and we're going to call this one, it's going to be a boolean variable and we're going to call it prime and what we're going to do is we're basically just going to store a true or false value inside of this uh, prime variable so it's a boolean variable which means it can hold either a true or a false value and so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a for loop down here and we're going to test all of these numbers from the starting number to the stopping number and we're going to test to see if they're prime and if they are we're just going to print them to the screen so what we're going to do is we're just going to say create a new integer, name it i, and set it equal to the start value to begin with. And then every time we go through the for loop, we need to satisfy some condition. So the condition we're going to satisfy is we're just going to make sure that the value that's held in the variable i is less than or equal to the stop value. And every time we go through the for loop, we're just going to add 1 to whatever value is stored in i. So this part right here is basically just going to pass all of the numbers from the starting number to the stopping number. It's going to pass each of those numbers through the for loop and it's going to check um, each of those numbers to determine whether or not they're prime. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume that uh, each of those numbers is prime to begin with. And then below that we're just going to put some logic in here to determine uh, whether or not they really are prime. So we're going to assume they are and then we're just going to say we're going to do another for loop here and then we're going to create another variable an integer variable called j and that's going to be set equal to 2 at the beginning and then we're going to check to see if j is less than or equal to the square root of i which is going to be the number that we're looking at here uh, to see if it's prime. So i is going to be the the number in question is i prime. And at the end of that for loop, we're just going to increment or add one to the value that's stored in the j variable. So then, so basically, what's happening is this for loop right here, we're passing all the numbers from the starting number to the stopping number through this overall for loop. And then for each of those cases, we're going to basically divide each of those numbers by two all the way up through the square root of the number that we're looking at. And if any of those cases produce a remainder of zero, then we know that the number is not prime. So basically what we're going to say now is we're going to say if i percent j double equals zero, so this is the case where you take i, which is the number that we're considering, is it prime or not, if that divided by j, and j can go from 2 all the way up to the square root of the number we're looking at, if any of those produce a remainder of 0 is what this statement is saying, if that's the case, then we're going to say that our number isn't prime. So prime is false. And that pretty much takes care of the logic. So then basically once we're done with that, we just need to know whether or not we want to print uh, print i to the screen, the number we're looking at. So what we're going to do is outside of this for loop now where we've checked all the values, we're going to say okay, now at this point if prime is still true, so if prime is still true now, now that it's gone through this little test right here, then we're just going to print its value to the screen. So we're going to print i to the screen and then we'll just go ahead and print a space afterwards. So. So we're printing the number to the screen if it is prime, and then we're going to print a space. And then what we want to do is, I think, underneath this one right here, we're just going to print a new line to the screen. 
And we can do that by just typing C out, double arrow, ENDL. And so that should take care of it now. So now this function should test all the numbers from the starting number to the stopping number. And uh, it should print to the screen all of those numbers that are prime. So inside of our main program here, we're just going to go ahead and test that. So I'm going to type in list primes, which is the name of our function. And for a starting value, I'm going to start at 2. And I'm going to stop at the number 50. And then we're just going to test to see which of those numbers are prime. So let's go ahead and run the program now. And it looks like everything's fine. So I'm getting 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, and 47. So we started at the number 2 right here. Started at the number 2 and we looked all the way up to the number 50 and then our program just went through all those numbers and printed off all of those numbers in that uh, overall set of numbers that we, uh, that overall range basically from 2 to 50 that were prime. So we could change uh, the inputs here. We could test to see, maybe we want to see all the prime numbers between 50 or starting at 50 to 100. And we can go ahead and run that program and see what happens. So now we have a list of all the prime numbers from 50 to 100. So 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. So anyway, you could actually modify this code if you wanted to and uh, you know do a little bit of formatting to it and you could actually just print off if you really wanted to all the prime numbers from 2 to a million if you wanted to. So anyway, that's basically uh, that's basically how you would uh, determine whether or not a number is a prime number by writing a C++ program. And we basically did this just by using some basic math, um, math knowledge here. Uh, we just basically used the definition of a prime number, these, these two conditions that a prime number needs to satisfy. And then we just wrote some uh, computer programming logic to implement these two conditions. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I know if you guys are just used to only watching my math tutorials, this is probably uh, a lot different for you guys, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can uh, you know, understand uh, what happened here enough and appreciate uh, uh, some computer programming and how it can be useful in uh, understanding situations like this. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Uh, you guys have an excellent day. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.